Hi, this is 3-Point Edit. Today I thought I'd try something different. We'll have a look at an audio program that I use for my tutorial recording. Uh, this is the Audacity Sound Cleanup Tips. So anyway, quickly, here is Audacity. I'm running Portable. There's some of the details. You can go and grab a download. It's terrific. This is a badly recorded bit of audio. As you can see, I have a lot of noise and not much signal. As well, the signal gets quite loud and quiet. So I need to get rid of the noise, increase the signal, and flatten out the waveform in general. That sounds pretty terrible. So we need to look at cleaning it up. First of all, I select a region that I want to sample to remove the noise. I go up to Effects, go down to Noise Removal. When the Noise Removal window pops up, we get Get Noise Profile button. It samples this region. Then we go back to the effect, noise removal. Oops. First of all, we better select the whole region. We'll do that. That's where we want to apply all of the effect or the noise removal. Back down to noise removal. We leave all the presets. They seem to be OK. I haven't played with them too much, but you can probably improve the dynamics. Then we go OK and it performs a render. Now you can see that it's much reduced noise. This is a badly recorded bit of audio. As you can see, I have a lot of noise and not much signal. As well, the signal gets quite loud and quiet. So I need to get rid of the noise, increase the signal, and flatten out the waveform in general. So a lot of the noise has gone away. But now let's look at compressing the signal so we can expand the waveform. As you can see, there is the threshold, so where the compression begins at the top of the curve there. At the moment set at 12 dB. You can vary where the compression begins uh, to roll off those peaks in the audio. The next is the noise floor. We don't have to worry too much about the noise floor. Oh, you can see the, the roll off happening there. That's at the top. In the middle is the gain that's applied. The gain is how much the quiet bits are amplified and that's achieved by changing the ratio value. So you can see the ratio. The more ratio you have, the more gain you apply to the middle or the quiet parts of your audio. Click OK and it renders. Much more expanded, isn't it? Let's try that again. Let's ratio applied, perhaps. More gentle settings. Let's first of all expand the le all of the track with the leveler. I set my noise floor around minus 55, give it lots of <laughs> lots of gain, and then it's really pushed up the gain. It's similar to compression. This is a badly recorded bit of audio. As you can see, I have a lot of noise and not much signal. As well, the signal gets quite loud and quiet, so I need to get rid of the noise, increase the signal, and flatten out the waveform in general. So that's really filled out the waveform. Then we'll go back and put the compressor on it to limit the tops. Renders away. Now you can see the tops have really rolled off, so it's a much more even waveform and dynamically the quiet pieces are closer to the louder pieces. This is a badly recorded bit of audio. As you can see, I have a lot of noise and not much signal. As well, the signal gets quite loud and quiet, so I need to get rid of the noise, increase the signal, and flatten out the waveform in general. Now you do have to be careful with that too, too much excessive pushing of noise floor will result in a pumping or getting louder and quieter of your audio track. But on the whole, I think it improves the tutorial audio. Thanks very much, and maybe we'll get back to Blender next time.